that peak bias, that, that this this part of their body, the 100 pounds, the sheer muscle, it's, it's tight. And I go, oh, I'm going to lift an arm up, and I'm going to throw my back out lifting an arm up, right? So the same kind of concept, whenever you lift a client, is the same. You want a good base. You want your legs bent. You want to lift the client up. You want to move your body and set them down. You don't want to lift the client up nice and then reach and lift them and then set them down because you're low back. So if I want to move this leg or the whole client or Vasili, you know, the thing with Vasili, I'm going to come under here. I'm going to lift up in the air, and then I'm going to come in and get set as different moves. And that's going to keep my back good. And even though you don't think you need it, you might want to teach it one day. And you have to, if you, if you ever want to teach, you got you to do what you teach, right? So, so think how you would tell some other less inferior being than you, because you will never get hurt, because you're so amazing, I get it. But how would you do that if you wanted to be precise? So don't get sloppy, because I, I blow my back out on a 120 pound client. You know, I'm just not thinking and, and out for a week and then changed my habits, you know. So, so what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get my knee into the ear so I can get under. I use the tricep to pull her away a little bit. So she has an anchor down right now. The arm is over. I like the anchor sometimes because it's traction on both sides. If they don't come very well, I lift the anchor up, put it on the table so she comes out to me more. Okay? I'm in here. I can do stuff. So try that first part. Try getting her up. And then do what you think you do as a client. Don't, you know, so, so what, what would I work on? I have her here. I could maybe really drop in some good trigger point. I could pull. Play with that. Okay, and, and when I set her back, I kind of set her back in so she's not cattywampus, and I escape. All right, okay. Chest at, 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 under the shoulder at a diagonal, right here. And I'm kind of pull back so I'm not seeing some other right now, here, and that's where I'm going to leave that. How are we doing? Well, you need some more. Then I would just come out, I'd roll it up a little bit, and give her some more. And that gives me people a lot of chest room in here, okay? Some people who I don't want to lift up, but I still want to get that leverage on. What I might do is I might take that towel roll really tight. Here, I'd have this probably pre-taped in my practice, a couple bolsters like that. And I'm going to come under here, in a deep, pull it over that. And now I'm going to use that as my leg. And that's the bolster instead of my knee. And so I can do all this kind of stuff. I don't have the under control I have with the leg, but I could come in here and if I want to do something, I could kind of go. Right? So I can still get a bolster effect if I, for some reason, can't, some people might not be able because you're clinic practice to put a leg under there. I don't know. Right? Or you might really feel like you might have a really petite person, you might have some big legs, and so you don't really fit. And so there's just all sorts of reasons. So having a couple pre-rolled bolsters taped up just under your table different, is a great way to kind of have a bolster without having to get under there. Um, so all sorts of reasons. I'm going to pull that out. If anyone needs towels, let me know.